Howdy friends, Mike here. We're going on a trip this next week. It's fall break for the kids. And I got a bunch of projects, uh, video projects that I've been wanting to get out for you. Um, but I'm not going to get those out. And I'm not going to sweat too much about it because it's vacation and we're going to have a good time. We're going to the Redwoods. Um, I've got the one of the next project videos I'm going to do is going to involve these these um, quick no weld uh, trailer towers, rack towers I got from Compact Camping Concepts. I'm going to make something cool. Uh, I'll finish this up tomorrow and then we'll take it on our trip with our Ford. Um, and then of course I have the Snake Lake trip that Rocket and I did a couple weeks ago um, and that will come out. But there is one project that I'm going to do for you um, before we go. Say hi to Lightning Dragon. Hi. And um, it's going to involve uh, a heat gun, Dang. some bandanas, and some cosmetics grade pure beeswax pellets. All right, so I've watched some videos on YouTube. Um, they're all done by these nice uh, ladies who are doing this with an iron and um, stuff in their kitchens. Um, what we're gonna make is we're gonna make um, some of those nice waxed uh, cotton uh, wraps for sandwiches so we can stop using, um, stop plastic using baggies. plastic baggies all the time, yeah. So, um, a lot of people are using fancy fabrics and stuff, but we're going to use bandanas because that's our style. So I'm going to turn the camera down so that you can see what I'm working on here and you don't have to look at my face anymore. Hold on a sec. All right, here. So I have a pan, just a regular cookie sheet right there. And um, so I'm going to take our first bandana. It doesn't quite fit in the pan, but it um, doesn't quite fit in the pan. But we're gonna we're gonna persevere. We're gonna do it anyway. I think maybe I'll fold it into quarters. So here's what I'll do. I'm gonna take some of these pure beeswax pellets. So these are cosmetics grade. I got these on Amazon for um, how much money? They're dirt cheap. <clears throat> kind of smell waxy. These waxy. They're just little pellets. So I'm gonna put some of those. These are from Stakeitch, all natural, premium quality. Distributed by blah 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 blah. Yada yada yada. Anyway, they're cosmetics grade, so should be food grade too. So I'm just gonna dump some here. And spread it out on part of this. I don't think it's gonna take very much to do this whole thing. So we'll see. And then I've got a heat gun. It's your standard heat gun that you can get at any home store. And I'm gonna plug it in. Um here. I gotta unplug something. What am I gonna unplug? Dang. Plug it in there. And then we're going to turn it on. Hot. Oh, it's melting. All right, so obviously this would be easier if you had a full-size pan, but um, these bandanas are just kind of too big. So I'm gonna fold it in half and keep going. All right, so I've been at this a while. It's pretty hot. Don't touch it. It's super hot. It's not quite um, it's not quite saturated with the wax yet, so I'm just going to keep melting and folding and melting and folding, and we're going to keep going at it. But I think it's going to work. How many times do you plastic That's paint, not plastic. Today, you
I think this is why you would want to use an iron because it's really difficult doing it with the heat gun to uh, get it to spread out enough to uh, coat the whole thing. But this. this might work. It's really hot by the. It's really hot by the way. I'm getting wax all over my fingers. And this is why you have to use this too. A lot of wax on this. It's really waxy. But I think I got it coated. I'm gonna do the other one that I have here and I'm gonna stick this one in the freezer. All right, for this one, I'm just gonna melt a bunch of these uh, wax globs in the pan and then sort of dip the, the, um, the other, bandana in the pan. Yeah. Alright, it's melted. Worked all right. Gotta keep folding it up to get the corners all coated. And I would like some. Um, Take that away. This. Put that back in the camping bag. What's wrong, bud? He left a Lego on the floor, and he stepped on it. Ain't that the darndest thing? Well, that's that. I think I got this one pretty well coated. I'm gonna fold it up. I'm gonna put this one in the fridge and get the other one and see what that one looks like. So it's really stiff. You can see it's really stiff. And it's waxy all the way to the edge. So I think the only thing that's left to do is to wrap something up in it and see how it goes. All right, so um, I've got the, uh, the um, waxed bandana and I think it's gonna work. Um, it looks, you know, like waxed canvas. You can see that it's waxy, feels waxy. There's probably a little bit too much wax on it in places. Smells waxy. It smells like like beeswax or vaguely like raw honey, honeycomb, whatever. Um, it's not too strong. It's strong enough though. I mean, definitely smell it. Um, so that's it. Now um, I also have uh, staple food, and the reason I'm doing this is a peanut butter sandwich, and it is a real peanut butter sandwich. There's actually stuff in there. I didn't just grab two slices of bread. So I'm gonna see how it wraps up a peanut butter sandwich.
So here it is, a waxed uh, bandana food wrap. Should save me at least a couple dollars a month on um, on um, purchasing uh, sandwich bags. But uh, since I reuse the sandwich bags all the time, it'll save me a lot of time in um, washing them. And also, they don't always bring them home, which makes me wonder if I'm ever if I put this in their lunch to go to school, will I ever see it again? Um, now, obviously, if this was bouncing around in a big container, it would just kind of fall apart, it would fall out. So um, if this was going into something other than a tiny little lunch bag for the kids, I might put a, band a rubber band around it. It'd probably be enough. I'd probably take care of it. Um, so yeah, so that's it. And inside here is a sandwich. There's the sandwich, here's the bag. I got crumbs on it right now, but let's say there was a little bit of peanut butter on it, right? So there's some peanut butter on it. How hard is it gonna be to get that peanut butter off? And let's say it's not just on there, but it gets wadded up and thrown back into the lunch bag. Well, I think you're supposed to be able to just wash these, rinse these off in the sink. So let's go rinse it off in the sink and see what happens. So that is your waxed bandana food wrap. Uh, these are just a standard bandana you can get at REI or anywhere really. Um, and we've had these for a while and I just pulled them out of the laundry. So they're clean and uh, all the whatever dyes or chemicals that were going to come off it have come off it a long time ago. So we're going to use these and see how they work and I'll report back. Um, it went well enough and I think it's going to work as well as any of them work. I just don't know if it's going to work for um, how we pack and consume sandwiches. Food. And I do mine like this. Yep. Go on inside, bud. So and be sure to be sure to check back uh, for the uh, project with uh, for the F-150 that I've got going over here and, and for a Snake Lake trail trip and then I'll have some video of our trip to the Redwoods next week. Um, be sure to follow us on Instagram. That's where I'll be posting any updates that we have along the way. And uh, if you've done these and you think this is stupid, um, let me know. And if you think it'll work, hey, let me know that too. Or if there's any tricks, because I've never used these. They've been like 15 bucks, and I just didn't want to buy one, but this was cheap. The whole thing was $12. So anyway, happy trails. See you later.